Hi friends. How is everybody today? Well, I hope. Okay, so I'm here at Palm Memorial Park on Eastern Avenue. And I don't know if you can see behind me the sign. That's the entrance sign right there. I'm here today at the gravesite. You see those yellow flowers and then you see the white flowers. That's the gravesite of Red Fox. Remember Red Fox from Sanford and Son? The classic uh, 1970s TV show. Stand-up comedian and actor Red Fox, whose real name was John Sanford, was born December 9th, 1922 in St. Louis, Missouri, and died October 11th, 1991 in Los Angeles at the age of 68. He died from a heart attack on the set of his TV sitcom, The Royal Family. If you're a fan of the TV show Sanford and Son, you'll remember that Red Fox's character, Fred Sanford, was famous for faking heart attacks during the show. So his real life death was not only sad, but ironic. Red Fox was a popular stand-up comedian for decades and is considered by many to be one of the greatest stand-up comics of all time. But he'll probably always best be remembered as Fred Sanford on the popular 1970 sitcom. It ran for six seasons from 1972 to 1977. And as you can see, he has one of the easiest gravesites to find. He's just inside the front gates of Palm Eastern Memorial Park to the left of the sign. There are quite a number of famous people buried here in Las Vegas, Nevada, but I'm pretty sure that Red Fox's grave is the most popular. It seems that just about every YouTube vlogger has visited Fox's gravesite. So I thought I would do something a little bit different and see how many of the other Sanford and Son cast member final resting places I could find. I'm happy to say that Damon Wilson, who played Lamont Sanford, is still alive and is now 72 years old. Actor Gregory Sierra, who played Fred's Puerto Rican neighbor Julio, is also still alive and now 81 years old. Actress Lynn Hamilton, who played Fred's girlfriend Donna Harris, is also still living, and she's now 88 years old. Actor Nathaniel Taylor, who played Rollo Lawson in more than 30 episodes, is now 80 years old. Sadly, the actress who played my favorite character on the show is no longer with us. Alberta Peel, whose stage name was LaWanda Page, played Aunt Esther. LaWanda Page and Red Fox were childhood friends who grew up and went to school together in St. Louis, Missouri. And many of the other cast members on the show were also longtime personal friends of Fox. Aunt Esther was a God-fearing woman, but whenever she was in the same room as Fred, all hell broke loose between the two of them, and the results were hilarious. She thought Fred was a heathen and never wasted an opportunity to let him know. And her classic line, watch it sucker, is still one of the most memorable catchphrases in TV sitcom history. LaWanda Page was born on October 19, 1920 in St. Louis, Missouri and died September 14, 2002 from complications of diabetes at the age of 81. She died in Hollywood, California. She's interred here with many other entertainment superstars in the Capistrano Court section just inside the front gates to the left. If you've been watching my channel for a while, then you know that I often talk about how my trips to the cemetery are full of coincidences that really seem like much more than just coincidences. Well, here's another one to consider. As I was working on this video, I received an email from Eric Eschert with a selfie of Eric in front of Whitman Mayo's gravesite. If you're a fan of the show, then you know that Mayo played the very memorable character, Grady Wilson. So I don't know what the odds are of something like this happening, but I'm glad it did. And I'd like to give a big shout out to Eric Eschert and say thanks, Eric, for sending such a great photo at the perfect time. Whitman Mayo was born November 15, 1930 
and died May 22, 2001 at the age of 70 from a heart attack in Atlanta, Georgia. He's laid to rest at Forest Lawn Memorial Gardens in College Park, Georgia. In addition to his role on Sanford and Son, Mayo also appeared in the spinoff Grady from 1975 to 1976, on Sesame Street from 1976 to 1977, and on Trapper John M.D. from 1983 to 1985. My next stop is the beautiful and historic Evergreen Cemetery in East Los Angeles. It's at the top of the hill overlooking downtown LA. Actor Matthew Beer Jr., who became famous for playing the character Stymie on nearly 40 Little Rascals Our Gang movies in the 1930s, is buried here. Beard was born on January 1st, 1925 and died January 8th, 1981 at the age of 56 in Los Angeles. He died from head injuries he suffered during a fall following a stroke. Like so many other child actors, Matthew had drug problems through much of his life. He got clean later in life and made a comeback and was on a number of uh, television shows. I believe uh, Good Times he was a regular on for a while, The Jeffersons. And he also appeared on Sanford and Son, and if I remember correctly, his character's name was Otis. Stymie's trademark was the big, uh, the oversized derby hat, and I read that the hat was given to him by Stan Laurel, you know, of Laurel and Hardy. And I also read that he was buried with the hat. I'm not sure why the headstones are divided in four like this, but in this section of the cemetery, this seems to be pretty common. If anyone happens to know, please share with us in the comments section down below. I've been to a lot of cemeteries, but this is something I've never seen before. To find his grave, when you come in the front of the cemetery, it's all the way at the very back of the cemetery here. You can see the road here. This is the uh, one of the roads that goes around the cemetery. This is the very back end of the cemetery. Stand-up comedian and actor Slappy White played Fred's friend Melvin on the show. White was born September 27, 1921, and died November 7, 1995, at the age of 74. He died from a heart attack in Brigantine, New Jersey, and is laid to rest at King Memorial Park in Windsor Mill Manor, Maryland. On the show, actor and comedian Donald Bexley played Fred's friend Bubba. He was also one of Fox's longtime friends and was even a pallbearer at Fox's funeral. Bexley was born March 10, 1910 and died April 15, 1997 at the age of 87 from heart and kidney failure in Hampton, Virginia. He's laid to rest at Hampton Memorial Gardens in Hampton, Virginia. Stage, screen, and TV actress B. Richards played Fred's sister-in-law, Ethel, on the show. Richards was born July 12, 1920, and died from emphysema on September 14, 2000, at the age of 80, in Vicksburg, Mississippi. She was cremated, and her ashes were scattered. Actor Pat Morita, who played Ah Chu on the series, was also cremated, and the whereabouts of his ashes are currently unknown. Marita was born on June 28, 1932, and died from kidney failure November 24, 2005, at the age of 73, in Las Vegas, Nevada. As I'm editing this video, I just happened to look at the calendar and realized that today, January 15th, is Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. And in another one of those weird coincidences, I received an email from Mike from the YouTube channel Traveling with Mike and Pam with this picture that Mike took of Rosa Parks' crypt. Rosa Parks is known as the mother of the modern civil rights movement, and when she died, she was the first woman to ever lie in state in the United States Capitol and to have the U.S. flag flown at half-staff. She was born February 4, 1913, and died October 24, 2005, at the age of 92, in Detroit, Michigan. She's interred at Woodlawn Cemetery in Detroit, Michigan, 
in the Rosa Parks Memorial Mausoleum. So I want to give a shout out and a big thank you to Mike for sending this photo, especially at this time. If you haven't yet visited Mike and Pam's YouTube channel, I'll put the link down below. It's called Traveling with Mike and Pam, and they visit cemeteries and gravesites all over the country during their travels. Here's a picture of Mike standing next to the gravesite of stunt motorcycle rider and daredevil Evil Knievel at the Mountain View Cemetery in Butte, Montana. Thanks for the photos, Mike, and for the interesting cemetery visits on your channel. On my trip to Las Vegas to visit the gravesite of Red Fox, I spent the night at the Circus Circus Hotel. Instead of making reservations ahead of time, I thought I would just play it by ear, and when I arrived in town, I thought I would just drive around and look for the best deals. Well, that was a huge mistake. I arrived on a Friday afternoon, the traffic was horrendous, and it was impossible to drive anywhere. So using a couple of different hotel apps on my phone, Circus Circus kept coming up as the most affordable option for the night. The rate for the night was under $100, which I thought was really reasonable. But by the time they added taxes and resort fees and other fees, I think I ended up spending about $150. But that was still pretty reasonable for being right on the Las Vegas Strip on a Friday night. Got a very nice room, much more than I need. Actually, it's got two big beds, but it's just me. It's on the ground level, not in the main hotel, but it's got like this series of uh, suites. And uh, so it's on the main floor in the park. I was able to park right outside the, uh, the room practically, which was really nice and convenient to bring in the bags. So it's got a TV that I'm not gonna be, have time to watch tonight. And... It's actually a lot larger and nicer than I was expecting it to be for the price. And in another one of those funny coincidences, while I was working on this video, Franklin Clark, Missy Lever, and Viper 29 all sent me comments suggesting that I do a video tribute to the cast of Sanford and Son. So I wanted to send out a big thank you and a shout out to all three of you. So anyway, just thought I would share that with you in case any of you are planning to come to Las Vegas and visit any of the cemeteries. I've still got, uh, I think I've got uh, three or four or five more cemeteries to see tomorrow. I mean, I may not see them all. And if I do, I'll probably just drive through a couple of them and just to see where they are for my next trip. And um, there's one in particular that I think has quite a few people that I'd like to visit. So I may start with that one tomorrow. I'll get up bright and early. The problem is I'll be up long before the cemeteries open since most of them don't open until 8 or 8.30. So, so we'll see how it goes. You know, just playing it by ear and already uh, visited quite a few cemeteries and, and seen some really interesting things that I'll upload and show you guys uh, over the next few days or few weeks. So if you have your own memories of any of the, the cast members or the show, please leave them down below in the comments section. And as always, thanks for helping me share the memories and I'll see you next time.